Greetings, Daniel Presedo for the Photoshop team. And today we're gonna to look at Spider-Man by you. Yes, if you have access to 3D characters like those made in Adobe Fuse, you can actually export out of Adobe Fuse and bring them into Photoshop in the library and then animate them inside Photoshop. I have a video dedicated just to show you how to do that. And you can check that out if you have any questions. But in the meantime, I've already gone through that trouble with Spider-Man. And as you can see, he's a 3D model. Let's turn these artwork off, turn the background on. And I have him animated here. He's just simply jumping on the ground here. All right, and we we're gonna reset him here real quick and then close this. And so now that we got the figure where we want it, because he's a 3D figure, we can just do just about anything we want. I'm gonna show you just, just what I mean. You can just move him around, kind of turn the light. You can change the lighting, whatever you want. At this point, I'm gonna probably kind of leave it just like that. I think I kind of like that. And I even think I might move the lighting just a tad here away from his face, or maybe a little bit more on his face, less on his face, I'm gonna take it off just kind of like that. Maybe the sun's just over there, it's kind of interesting. But you could actually remove the light and it'd probably still look cool at this point. So I've got a photo in the background here of New York and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a threshold and we're gonna back it off just a little bit and that's it, you're gonna leave that alone. Now I've got the Spider-Man 3D model, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click or command control click on that copy paste I'll hide that for now and I'm going to create click control and do another one like that there we go and I'm going to turn that to hard light because it's going to make some nice colors let's turn that off for now I like this threshold so I'm going to alt click and drag this up and I'm going to click this here to say just make spider-man dark for me okay and then I'm going to back it off those levels a little bit here kind of like that click the hard light and boom, we're really done. That's it. From here on out, you can actually do more. I altered the colors and stuff of Spider-Man like that. I changed the colors a little bit and added some textures in the background, but that's really it. That's the magic right there. And from here, you can paint on it, draw on it. You can, of course, modify the picture however you want, make it your own. And I hope this was a nice teaser. If you really want more in depth on this video, then leave the comments and questions and maybe I'll make a long version if you actually watch it. In the meantime, check out the other videos on how to bring in those files from Mixamo and thank you for watching.